In this problem, we're being asked to find the tangent of angle A, the cosine of angle A, and the sine of angle A. But look at this triangle. There's no uh, degree measure in there. There's no sides to make ratios. So what's going on here? Well, this is the crucial piece of information. It says triangle XYZ is similar to triangle CAB. So even though the measurements of the sides here are not the same as these numbers, they're proportional to them. So if we find the um, sine of y, that is the corresponding angle to a. If we find the sine of y for this triangle, it's going to be the same as the sine of a over on this triangle. So actually, let's try that. First up, we're at tangent. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So since y is the corresponding angle to a here, we want the opposite of y. So that's 18.4 over the adjacent. And the adjacent would be 34.5. So let me grab a calculator here. So 18.4 divided by 34.5. And I'm getting 5.3 repeating. We'll just round that to 5.3. So this one is 5.3. Actually, they wanted the nearest hundredth. So 5.33. All right, let's try the cosine. Same way, uh, we'll look at angle Y here. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent angle here is 34.5. And the hypotenuse is 39.1. So let me grab the calculator again. So 34.5 divided by 39.1. And we get 0.88. So this one is, I'll put the answer over here, 0.88. All right, and finally the sine, that is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in this case, that is 18.4. over 39.1. And we'll calculate that. 18.4 divided by 39.1. And we get 0 0.47. So this is 0 0.47. So the trick there is that if you have a triangle that's similar to another triangle, all the trigonometric ratios are going to be the same. Just make sure you have the corresponding angles and set up the problems just as you normally would.